All right, Clee, so things that will push you or things that you'll hate. That's what the video is about today. Ooh, kind of like trying quinoa for the first time. You're like, what am I getting myself into? What is it that most people call it? Quinoa. Quinoa. It's like trying quinoa. Or canoe. Canoe. Bobby's tips for artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artist. As you can tell, I am wearing a hoodie because it is freaking cold in here. Yeah, you'd think we live somewhere that has seasons or something. Yeah. So we got a question from Nicola Cook. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Nicola. Uh, let's see. How do you know that the thing that will push you is not the thing that you're going to hate? Should you risk it? Is there a way to access whether or not you're going to hate it or not? Thanks. That's a great question. And for anybody that doesn't understand where this question is coming from, this question is relevant to the statements that I make where I say you should try new things to push you outside of your comfort zone. What that means is when you're comfortable where you've been doing the same thing and you're really, really good at doing that thing and it would be much more comfortable for you to stay doing that thing than to try something else that could possibly scare you, um, that's where I say go ahead and push outside of that comfort zone and attempt to do that thing that will scare you because the growth and evolution of your career and yourself will be immensely huge. One of the other things that I also say is that if there's anything that you really don't want to do, then don't do it. You may end up creating a career where that is the kind of work that you're creating. And, you know, you don't want to have a career working art that you don't want to create. So the question is, how do you know whether or not it is something that is going to push you outside of your comfort zone or it is something that you are just absolutely going to hate? Don't know. You won't know until you actually do that thing. I would say though that there is a line that you already know of things that you really don't want to do. That these things are things that even if they pushed you outside of your comfort zone, that they are things that you would not enjoy. And those are the things that your first instinct is, no, no, there's no way. At that point, you know that that is definitely something that you are not interested in, something that you just don't want to work on, something that you don't want to do. For example, with me, when I had an art show, I had over 100 pieces of work up and this guy came up to me and offered me a lot of money to do a painting. Flash and drip style, he really really liked it, but he wanted a painting of a guy holding a gun to his head, blowing his brains out. Theme behind my work, which is always self-empowerment, feeling good about yourself and stuff, and like I looked at him and said, do you do you see the kind of work that I create? Like, that's that's not something that I'm interested in. And the guy said, money's no object. I'll do, you know, I'll pay you whatever. And I just couldn't picture myself pouring energy into something that I just really did not want to do. No interest in it whatsoever and totally turned them down. There's nothing about that that was going to push me outside of my comfort zone, leading me to where I wanted to go. It's just, just, no. It was just going to make you feel sad and gross. Yeah. Inside. Yeah, can you imagine sitting there for days working on this painting? Ugh. On the other hand, there have been projects that I've thought to myself, like, yeah, that would be cool. I want to work on that. But because um, I didn't think that I was good enough or because I thought maybe I wasn't ready, whatever reason there was where there was doubt about me being able to accomplish this thing well and essentially telling myself that maybe you shouldn't try it because if you do try it, you're going to fail. Those were the projects that I jumped on because because I wanted to push myself outside of my comfort zone. A couple of years ago, I was approached by a gallery who wanted my work, and they wanted it like a week from the date they were contacting me. And my little stick man in my head was like, I cannot work under these conditions. That's it. It's the stick man in your head. When the stick man in your head is saying like, there's no way that you could accomplish this. You can't do this. You can't do this. Yeah, I would say when an opportunity presents itself, Assuming you're in a good headspace, your first reaction is often correct. So if you're like, no, oh, I don't want that, then maybe it's not in line with what you want. Yeah. But if you're like, ooh, that's utterly scary, but I could do that, maybe, 
then you might want to go for it. Yeah. If there is something that you are like, that's exciting or that's cool, your first instinct is like, yeah, I want to do that. Um, chances are that is something that would push you outside of your comfort zone. The thing about it is that you're not going to be sure. There are some things that you're going to try and then after you try them, you're going to figure out that you don't like them. And then there are some things that you're not going to try and then later on maybe you're going to change your mind and decide that you want to try it anyway. My suggestion is just try it. Don't worry about the risk. Just just try it. If it's something that maybe possibly you could be interested in doing, then just do it. And if you're not sure if you'll like doing this or not, then do it anyway and figure out whether or not you like to do that or not. So long story short, if I could bring this down and condense it into like two rules would be this. Rule number one, if it is something where your immediate reaction is no way, there's no way I'm going to do that, then you know that that is definitely not something that you want to do. Rule number two would be if you're on defense about it, I suggest that you just do it anyway and figure out whether or not you enjoy doing it or not during the process. It might be when you get started or it might be halfway through where you're like, you know what, I really am not having fun here. I'm not enjoying this. That might mean you have to make a phone call that goes something like, I'm so sorry, sir. I was intrigued by the prospect of making a necklace out of this prosthetic eye, but it turns out that I hate this. <laughs> yeah. True story for Clee. True story. She did not want to make a piece of jewelry out of a prosthetic eye. But I was indeed intrigued. Yes. There's one other question I ask myself when I'm presented with an opportunity. Okay. And that question is, is this opportunity in line with my overall goals that I have for myself? Because some things sound real, real tempting at first, but if they're not going to further your actual goals, then they might not be worth your time. Yep. If it's something that you don't want to do, or it doesn't meet with your values or your goals, then yeah, that's not going to work. Hopefully that answered your question. And uh, if you guys have any comments or anything to add, just add them to the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios.